Um, hey, what's going on? In this video, we're going to make the beginnings of this page, which is where you go to upload files on YouTube. So when you click on this guy right here, you get brought to this page right here where you can upload your videos. So we're going to, we're not going to worry about this extra stuff right here. We're just going to worry about the main upload component for now. So first we got to do a couple things in our roots index on the content and the styles object here. We're going to get rid of the padding completely. And up at the top where the height is for the root element, we're going to change it from 480. We're just going to say 97 VH for now. And then in our roots directory, we're going to create a new file and it's going to be upload.js. Get rid of that for now. Back here, we'll import upload from dot slash upload. And down in our switch, we'll put in our root with a path of slash upload and that'll render the upload component. So in our upload component, we will first import React and component from React. And we'll import typography from material UI slash typography. Now we'll CD into the client directory and we'll run npm install dash capital S react dash drop zone. And while that's going, we'll import drop zone from React drop zone. So here we'll have a class here we'll have a class up upload that extends component. Render and return and at the bottom we'll export the fall upload. So inside our return we'll start with a div and in that div we'll have a drop zone. So the drop zone is, it'll let you drag and drop and click to add files. So I've already created all of our styles that we're going to need here. And this is different from the other one. This is just our own styles. We're not using the higher order component here. We're just um, doing a regular styles object. And I just like doing this rather than creating a separate CSS file. Um, you can do that, create uh, a separate CSS file with classes or IDs if you want, but I'll just keep everything in one file, just uh, less files. So we've got a container that's display flex, justify content center, background color and a height. And that's this div right here. So we just say style and styles.container and our drop zone 
background white, no border, height, margins, also display flex, but this was a uh, flex direction column and cursor pointer. So we say style equals styles dot drop zone. And we're putting accept prop on it for now. We'll just say video slash webm for now. And we'll say multiple equals false for now. Inside the drop zone, we're going to have an image. Say all is upload for now. And we're going to have some typography. Typography. Actually, we're going to have two typography blocks. We want it to look pretty similar to the uh, re or the one on YouTube. So I made my own uh, background icon here, which is in the README. It's uh, I put it up on my AWS, and we're just going to use that. And in our typography, we're going to say. Select files to upload. And this one is going to have the type equals headline. And this next line is or, drag, and drop video files, I think it's supposed to say. Yep, video files. And in between the two, we're just going to put a break like that. Just easier than creating another uh, style. So save that. And we'll run npm start and see how that looks. Now we're just going for the basics. We're not going to worry about every little detail of the YouTube page. We just want something that looks generally pretty close. So now you see we got rid of that extra padding. We still have a little bit of padding around everything. And it takes up the whole page now. So we should be able to click on this and boom, we're at our upload. Looks like we're missing one thing though. We don't want that to be all the way at the top. We want that to be somewhere in the middle here. Let's see, what do we need here? Oh. We got to put a style on this image. And that's going to be styles.image. All right, there we go. Now, when we click on that, we get the file dialog just like we want. Not too bad, right? Looks pretty close to uh, what they got going on YouTube. So in the next video, we're going to jump back to the back end and we're going to create um, a model for our video and start hooking up the back end part of being able to upload these videos. And uh, we're going to use AWS and it's going to be pretty cool, I think. So hope to see you in the next video. See ya.